Hello and welcome to this review of Tropical Rum Punch. This is 12.5% alcohol and it is a Parrot Bay brand. And it says, made with Caribbean rum, don't know which islands, natural flavors and certified and caramel colors. Okay, this 200 milliliter bottle is bottled by the Parrot Bay Rum Company, New York, New York. Uh, refrigerate after opening. Well, I'm going to drink it after opening. Sazerac.com. Well, you know, Sazerac bought Parrot Bay from the original owners. I think the original owners was were uh, Barton. Well, Sazerac bought all of Barton Industries. So anyway, uh, there's no video reviews for it that I could find. Parrot Bay is mainly known for their coconut rum, but they make all sorts of flavored rums. But none of these pre-mixed are mentioned on their website, like Tropical Rum Punch uh, and these little 200 milliliter bottles. They're not mentioned on the website for some reason. Already reviewed their um, Long Island iced tea. Also not on the website. All right, but anyway, I can explain that, but I paid $1.99 for this which was 60 cents cheaper than Total Wine and More. I bought this at Chevron, the Chevron convenience store on United States Highway 51. All right. They had a hard time finding the price. Uh, it wasn't when they went to ring it up. It didn't ring up. It wasn't in the system. They had to look and look, and then they decided uh, it's the same price as the Chi-Chi's. <clears throat> uh, that's the one I had, the chi chi I had the Chi Chi's Long Island iced tea and the Parrot Bay. Okay. But Chi Chi's also owned by Sazerac these days. So it says same price, $1.99. Well, it's red. Got to give it credit on that. It is red all the way with obvious red food coloring and caramel coloring. All right. The aroma. Well, so kind of fruit punch aroma, but nothing else really. Like that's why they put not, not for sale under people under 21 because it looks like um, like a children's fruit punch drink. The taste. You get a little sting from the rum, and they produce so many rums. We don't know what it could be. I mean, it could be Mr. Boston. It could be Fleischmann's. It could be Glenmore, Barton, Margaritaville. It's, the choices are endless. The natural flavors to me taste like strawberry puree. Because of the tartness and the sweetness. Obviously, cane sugar are probably one of the natural sweeteners. I say obviously, it seems to be. Cane sugar, strawberry puree, I don't know what the rest would be. Probably the silver rum. They also make Myers. Well, now the Myers line is really expanding. They got the Myers dark molasses rum. Now they have the silver. Now they've got Myers single barrel Myers. Um, there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of new offerings. Okay, the. Mouth feels a little slick. The body's sort of heavy. Yeah, heavy body. A heavy bodied premix in this little bottle. The finish is sweet. Well, let's see, they're giving hints. They're showing oranges. Oranges, lemons, and pineapples. And yet, I'm guessing strawberry, so hmm. shows you where I am. 
on this. Um, is the flavor good? Well, um, it's probably just as good as these daiquiris that people go and buy around here, these drive through daiquiri shops. Um, those weren't really working. I tried them a few times. They taste like a snowball. Or I think up north they call those snow cones. But mm -mm. this is not something I would drink, except I did a, I'm doing a review because I saw it. I said, eh, try it. You know, I wouldn't just buy it to drink. But um, I know a lot of people who would. And um, I guess if you did it once a week, it would be all right. I mean, to drink these every day, I just don't think it would be good for you. But um, it just, um, but um, any other things I can think of? Yeah, I don't know anything about the rum punch cocktail or plantation punch cocktail, but I know those are popular. Uh, all right. As it warms, the rum is starting to come out. I'm starting to pick up pineapple in the nose. And I know you're going to say power of suggestion. You looked at the pineapple on the label. I would agree with that. But maybe warming lent itself to that. Oranges. Yeah, I can see orange peel. So could they be using orange peel, pineapple, and pulp? Or just straight? wholesale pineapple juice and strawberry puree. I guess they could be. I don't see why not. Sazerac's a wealthy company with some inexpensive Caribbean rum. Yeah, fine. 200 milliliters seems to be the common bottle for this, but they may be, they probably are liters in handles. 1.75 liters, yeah. Score. Hmm. Well, can't think of anything wrong with it. Seems well put together. It's flavorful. Downside. There really is no downside. I mean, I know it's loaded with sugar, but that would only be a downside if you're drinking this on a regular basis, and that would be un unwise. So it's a special treat, let's say twice a month. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, so. Um, Go with an A minus. Um, that's really an unfair score, but I'm basing it on the fact that I don't know what a, a proper rum punch or plantation punch should taste like. So I'm just going to be cautious and say A minus. An excellent product, but just so. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to New Orleans, Louisiana, and tour the Sazerac House. <laughs>